What's going on everybody? Right now I'm in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, my very first trip to Egypt for the COP27 conference. And right in front of us is the Red Sea, home to one of the most beautiful coral reefs on the entire planet. There was no way I was coming to this destination without getting in the water. So let's gear up, jump in and see what we can find. The water is very warm, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And right away, even in the shallows, there is some really amazing sea life, like this giant clam. Look at that thing, it is huge, and look at how blue it is. They can sense when potential predators are close, and then they snap shut, check this out. Whoa. Okay, let's get out of the shallows and into some deeper water. Wow, this has gotta be some of the bluest water I've ever seen this close to shore. And look at this little guy here. That's a masked pufferfish. Check out his little black eye mask and unique tail fin. Puffers have so much personality, I absolutely love encountering them anywhere I see them in the world. So many varieties. Okay, so we've only been in the water a few minutes and I'm seeing so much amazing coral around here. Vibrant, vibrant colors, which the Red Sea is famous for. Time to see some more creatures, back down we go. Oh no way, look at that, that's a blue spotted stingray. Check out how vibrant those spots are. They're almost fluorescent to the naked eye. Okay, so here are some mass butterfly fish, named for the little colored spot over their eyes. Now, I wonder if this is a pair. And here's another couple, but these are Red Sea Bannerfish. I am so amazed by the clarity of this water. Unbelievable. Okay, so check out the colors and stripes on this fish. This is a Sohao Surgeon Fish. I wonder if it gets that name because of the lines being so precisely fit together. These fish actually eat algae off rocks and other surfaces, so don't worry, they're not actually eating the coral. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, bye then. Look at this guy. This is a bridled parrotfish, I think? It has such striking features, but it is tricky to tell parrotfish apart sometimes. There is so much vibrant and healthy life on this reef. It's really beautiful to see. They say a healthy ocean is a sign of a healthy planet, and it's so sad that reefs like this one are becoming extremely rare to see around the world. The work that scientists are doing to protect and rebuild our world's reef system is such a critical mission. Hopefully in time, more and more of the world's reefs will look just like this one. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Oh, look at this little slingjaw wrasse hiding from me. I see you there. Okay, now that is a bridled paired fish. What was the other fish I saw? There it is. This might be a Titan triggerfish or some other variation of triggerfish. But back to the parrotfish, so incredibly beautiful. And you can see it also eats algae off the rocks. Now that is a rusty parrotfish. You can see clearly how it got its name. Look at the stripes and colors of this royal angelfish. And he's swimming upside down. There's just so much to see down here. I could literally spend days and days and never get bored. Well, 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 look who it is, the lionfish. Uh, we know each other pretty well, don't we, pal? The time has come to enter the sting zone with the lionfish on three. You guys got your shot? Here goes nothing. One, two, three. Ah, oh, mm. you got me, you got me good. <clears throat> Definitely feels smoldery, not achy pain, like hot poker, uh, dagger-like pain. Did you guys get that on camera? Oh, God. oh man. This time, I'm going to keep my distance. They really are beautiful despite their venomous nature. Look at the long, thin dorsal fin of this threadfin butterfly fish, and an appropriate name if I don't say so myself. Okay, so these big schools of orange fish could either be squirrel fish or arc-eyed hawkfish, but it's a bit hard to tell without getting super close. And as you can see, they're not very interested in getting any closer than this. That is a Picasso triggerfish, and it's probably one of the most unique looking fish on this reef. Whoa, that looks like a barracuda, but it's a lot different than the barracuda I'm used to seeing, so it's probably a different kind of species. Fish can be extremely tricky to identify when you're visiting new places around the world. Oh boy, and look what we have here. That is a moray eel. Oh man, check out that coloration, check out the spots. This is by far the find of the day. Let's get a closer look. Now these animals, I must warn you, are very territorial. So if you ever see one when you're out snorkeling or diving, make sure to keep your distance and mind your fingers. No matter how much time I spend in the waters around the world, I'm still in awe by the beauty and complexity of our planet. Even this small section of reef that we're allowed to visit is so beautiful. 
But we also need to remember that we need to be careful and respectful visitors. If you ever see anything left behind at a reef, it's a good idea to remove it if you can do so safely. See what I mean right there? Looks like somebody left their hairband or something. I better go down and get it. I'm just gonna tuck that in my pocket and out of the way. Wow, what an adventure this has been. It's starting to get dark, so I think it's time to head back to shore and say goodbye to this reef for now. What an amazing day exploring the reefs of the Red Sea here in Trommel Shake. I think we're definitely gonna have to come back for a proper dive video. Tell us in the comment section if you'd like to see that. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.